Welcome back. It is 719, and with us this morning is uh, Maya Sotaro Ng, who's a new children's author, as well as President Barack Obama's younger sister. You must get so tired of hearing that, huh? It's <laughs> proud, right? I am very proud of him. He is such an extraordinary individual, and I think an incredible leader. And uh, we're kicking off the uh, Democratic Convention here in Oahu, and. Uh, in about an hour. Yeah, and, and you're going to be rushing off to that after this. I am, yes, and this is an opportunity to uh, rethink what has uh, transpired and and sort of courageously step into the future and um, hopefully get as much momentum and excitement and and uh, energy uh, for 2012 as we had in 2008. Excellent, and by the way, welcome home. You're just fresh from your book tour across the United States to to promote her new book, uh, Ladder to the Moon, about your daughter and your mother and uh, walking up the ladder to spend some precious, precious time together. Um, we were talking earlier about uh, um, the tsunami, the Indonesian tsunami that is referred to, as well as the two tall towers that trembled and swayed on quaking soil. But you also uh, reference religious unity, where Suhela uh, spots people whose hands are pointed upward. I wanted you to to read this part ah. uh, of this book here. Sure. Like Where a children's book. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, story time. Yes. yes. Looking past the golden ladder, she spotted people whose hands pointed upward from a synagogue, a temple, a mosque, and a steepled church. One by one, every person was finding his or her own path to the moon, each path connecting with the others in Hope's massive stream. And it, it's just a beautiful moment in the book where people from all different religions. Well, you know, the mom taught us to read the philosophy and, um, and to understand the faiths of all parts of the world. And the reason she did that is that she felt that all faith um, was essentially the same at the core, at its best. It doesn't mean that, you know, sometimes people who are members of a faith don't make mistakes um, and don't have a malice in their hearts. But at its best, religion is about understanding where we are in the universe, our role, how to love one another, how we can make precious use of our lives, how we can find peace um, within um, you know, the, a thunderous storm. So my hope is that, um, is that we sort of recognize that so that we can um, stop fighting one another right. around the world. Right. On the opposite spectrum, um, there is the, the Osama bin Laden issue. I asked you earlier if you had talked to your brother um, since uh, the Osama bin Laden's death, and you hadn't talked to him. I hadn't. Um, I haven't. Uh, I have uh, reached out to him. Um, but he is, of course, incredibly busy, and he responded with queries about my health and the, <laughs> and, uh, and the kids and, and, and the kids. And those are the kinds of things that we talk about. We have sanctuary and family. But uh, regarding that, I think that he has found the right tone, uh, somber, uh, with um, a view of how to heal the the hurt and. Of, of so many who lost loved ones um, in 9-11 and also in the war in the subsequent years. So I think we have to focus now on how to move forward and, and sort of put you know, that um, uh, time behind us. And with that, your book, Ladder to the Moon, you've been making the rounds at the local bookstores since you've been back from your national book tour. Mm -hmm. I know that you were at Barnes & Noble last week. Um, uh, this book is beautiful. I've read it. It's beautifully illustrated. Thank Congratulations. You. Uh, any plans for a new book? Yes, I actually have a young adult novel because I have two daughters and I need to make sure that uh, Savita, my two-year-old, gets uh, named in some books, so I have a, a young adult. She's going to say, what about me, Mom? Right. I don't want her mad at me. So <laughs> right. I, I have a young adult novel also published by Candlewick about a young woman born into a world at war, and she's a peacemaker, and her name is Savita. Savita. Two-year-old Savita, Suhela and Savita. Thank, Thank you, you, Maya. Thank you so much Thank for joining so us this morning Jody. and waking up so early. Thank Your busy you. schedule.